AEW. Along with Taz, I'm Joey Styles, and we thank you for joining us. We got a new champion, baby, and I'm proud to say it's Elijah Burke. It was an intense matchup at No Way Out, but you're right, Elijah Burke came out with the goal. Allow me to introduce you to the new ECW champion, the one, the only, the Elijah Experience, Elijah Burke. Now, Elijah, you've tap danced over the competition in the tournament, and hey, wait a second, where's the title? Don't you have it? I thought you were going to present it to me. Guys, guys, calm down. What the hell are you doing with my ECW championship? Yours? Elijah, I don't remember anyone beating me for it. I earned that, punk. It's mine. Give it back or else. How about we find out who the real ECW champion is? Right now, in a last man standing match. No DQs, no count outs, and may the most extreme man win. <laughs> impromptu last man standing underway as CM Punk challenges the new ECW champion, Elijah Burke. Hey, yeah, Punk's got some nerve to tell you that right now. I hope Burke knocks him right out. <laughs> and he hits a big time leg drop. You gotta be careful when you're going up there. That elbow did some damage. Picked up a huge win at No Way Out over Big Daddy V. But arguably, Elijah Burke had the biggest win of the night, beating Jeff Hardy to become ECW champion. Burke is the better man style. He's 10 times the man CM Punk is, and a champion we can be very proud of. He jumps and knocks his opponent down with a drop kick. I think he's through playing around. There's the GTS, the go to sleep connects. This isn't how you win the ECW title, Styles. Punk can't even play by the rules, yet alone beat Burke Bailey. Punk certainly taking the fight to an unsuspecting Burke here tonight, just two days after his grueling matchup at No Way Out. the drop kick from an incredible vertical leap. And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. Punk's been getting his revenge here tonight. Can Punk keep Burke down for the 10 count? Can Punk leave here the ECW champion? I love it. Talk Two. about loving your opponent facing it. What are you? Seven. My partner has left the booth. What the hell? He's choking out CM Punk. <laughs> Taz is telling the referee to count Punk, who, who looks lifeless. One. I can't believe this. Two. It's 
it's over. Elijah Burke has won this impromptu last man standing match. All thanks to Tex. This is the strangest turn of events I have ever witnessed. ECW is here live and about to explode. I'm Joey Styles, but I'm really not sure who my broadcast colleague is anymore. I'm a man with ECW's best interests at heart, Joey. Tonight's main event features three men vying to become the number one contender in a triple threat match. I want you to know why I got involved last week. It's because of ECW's championship and its heritage. You see, you and I have both held it, but only one of us <laughs> truly respects it. main event of the evening, a triple threat match at CF Punk. Takes on Big Daddy V and John Morrison, with the winner becoming the number one contender for the ECW title. And hopefully, we'll have no interference. He's putting that weapon to good use here. No doubt, as long as he's got that thing, he's in the driver's seat. He dropped the elbow. That kick rocked him. Just last week, Punk came so close to regaining the ECW title. Elijah Burke was down for the count until someone <coughs> decided to interfere. Hey, get off my back. What I did was good for ECW. Play the center. Oh, what a smack. Into this match, you've got to think that Punk will be the favorite holding wins over both Big Daddy V and John Morrison in recent weeks. He's beaten him once, Joey, but now he's facing him at the same time. And he brings his leg crashing down. That suplex was picture perfect. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. There's the GTS, the go to sleep connects. He's gone toe to toe. He's making a cover. I think oh. I see red. Yes, he's busted open. Oh my God. A basic but efficient maneuver. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist this submission hold. And that means you gotta either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you gotta just flat out tap out. He's putting that weapon in good use here. No doubt. As long as he's got that thing, he's in the driver's seat. Here it comes. Here it is. The Anaconda Vice. He's choking the life out of his opponent. The match is over. That's all. to compete for the ECW Championship. Let's hope that match has no interference. I don't expect you to understand what I did last week, Styles, but Elijah Burke does not need any help to defend the championship. That remains to be seen, partner. The two will clash next week with the ECW Championship on the line.
Welcome to ECW, Joey Styles and Taz at ringside, and we have got a blockbuster main event. You know it, Joey. It'll be quite an experience, if you know what I mean. Will CM Punk regain the championship that was so unceremoniously stripped from him weeks ago? And will Taz show extreme bias? I'll call it fairly because I'm that much of a professional. <laughs> Thank you very much. Giving you a title shot is like giving a can opener to a baby. You're not going to do anything with it. This is a wrestling match, and there's no way you can beat me without resorting to your old barbaric tactics. Meanwhile, I'm the paragon of virtue. You might as well not even show up. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get bigger than this. CM Punk versus Elijah Brock for the ECW title. This is the match Punk has fought so hard for, defeating Big Daddy V and John Morrison in the triple threat last year. A swift kick to the opponent. Punk defeated Tommy Dreamer at the Royal Rumble, winning both the ECW title and the former champion's respect. The fact is, this is a match for a title that CM Punk never lost. CM Punk was stripped of his title because he deserved to lose it. He took things too far. Elijah Burke won the ECW title just three weeks ago. But can he pick up the win here tonight and go on to WrestleMania as the ECW champion? Great reversal. That kick rocked him. Not a lot of options here. It's tap or snap. And the neck breaker connects. It's been an incredible matchup here tonight. But can Punk pull off the victory? Can Punk go to rest? There it is. The Anaconda Vice. He's choking the... That's all she wrote, man. The wheel has come full circle. CM Punk has regained the ECW Championship. And there goes my partner again. And Elijah Burke didn't expect his reign to be over so quickly, but those are the breaks. Welcome you to another edition of ECW, the most extreme show on television. WrestleMania is right around the corner, Styles. I love this time of year. We still don't know what awaits ECW's new champion at the big event. I have a few ideas, Styles, but you don't really need to know that because uh, you're basically you're a tool. You got me to agree to accompany you to the ring tonight, but you better not need backup. I'm nowhere near 
but you can handle yourself. we go with this non-title matchup as the champion CM Punk takes on his old rival John Morrison. As it stands, we still don't know who the champion might face at WrestleMania, but you have to think a win here tonight would put Morrison at the top of the list. showing absolutely no respect for his opponent. What a fierce kick. There's the monkey flip. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. All the lead connects. They could be out. How sadistic. Is cutting off the oxygen supply. But if they did, I don't know if they'd be able to take it off after that. Oh, look at that. Speedy T. Looks like he's going for it. Good night. Hulk hits the go to sleep. Look at that. Talk about a crimson mess. out. He's choking his opponent with that ring rope. Watch out. Here it comes. There it is. The Anaconda Vice. He's choking the life out of his opponent. I didn't want the match to end, but... looks like an ECW championship reunion. So I thought I'd join you two. Why don't we invite another former champ? Here's the deal. We want both of you at WrestleMania, and get this, in a tag team match. You know what time it is, CM Punk? It's time that I really teach you what the word extreme means. And Dreamer, you're not looking too good these days. You need retirement a little bit more than I do. You know what? Maybe a few suplexes on that injured midsection. You know, that would do the trick. That sounds like a great match for WrestleMania. And Taz, since your team made the challenge, I'll let Punk's team pick the stipulation. Any stipulation. What an announcement. Taz is coming out of retirement for WrestleMania. And he's teaming up against the ECW champion.
is it? WrestleMania, the grandest stage of them all. I'm Joey Styles, honored to be at WWE's flagship event. Conspicuously absent, of course, is Taz, who will actually be competing tonight in a featured ECW tag team bout. Let's look at how all of this came about. CM Punk captured the ECW championship from Tommy Dreamer at the Royal Rumble, unfortunately injuring the former champion. As a result, Stephanie McMahon abolished extreme matches and held up the ECW championship. Instead of accepting this, Punk went out of his way to ruin the tournament. This drew the ire of former ECW champion Taz, who aligned with Elijah Burke and challenged Punk and Dreamer to a match tonight. But Punk and Dreamer choose the stipulation. Which side will win? We'll find out tonight. Unfortunately, my colleague whined to Stephanie McMahon to take me off announce duties, so Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler will call this ECW match. I hope Taz gets the hell beaten out of him tonight. So you chose an Extreme Rules match for us tonight, huh? <laughs> okay, you know what? I was doing Extreme Matches before you could even spell the word. You're gonna regret that decision. Well, things haven't turned out quite like we expected. We're underway calling this Anything Goes Extreme Rules Match. You're right, JR. This is going to be off the hook. Taz is out of retirement, and he'll be teaming for one night only against the ECW champion. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. In the knuckles connect. Here tonight. And there's the go to sleep. 
knee to the temple. This match has so many combustible elements. An ECW icon comes out of retirement. The team with him, the former champion, and the new champion teams with a man he beat, the man he sent to the hospital. Like you said, each of these men have held the ECW title, JR. That just makes this match even more exciting. There's the GTS. The go to sleep connects. I don't know if his opponent has what it takes to kick out. You can't question the heart of any WWE superstar. But there comes a point where you're just not able to physically continue. He's obviously not feeling too threatened, JR. He could put his opponent away right here. And that Anaconda Vice might be the beginning of the end of this one. It's been a long time coming. And that's all she wrote, JR. CM Punk and Tommy Dreamer. Maybe Taz should have stayed retired after all. Tonight, Tommy, you and I brought back Extreme. I think everyone wants to see us do it one better. You and me in the same match for my ECW championship. Can you believe this, King? Fresh off a huge win against Taz and Elijah Burke, these two are going at it again. Well, got his retribution, JR, and now he wants to take things one step further to prove he's the true ECW champion by taking Dreamer to the extreme one last time. Tommy Dreamer is synonymous with the word extreme and an ECW icon. CM Punk is the new face of extreme in the current ECW champion. This is old school versus new school. This is friend versus friend. This is for the ECW championship. Well, that Anaconda Vice is a head coach. Oh my gosh, JR, that's it. WrestleMania wins in one night for CM Punk. Is this deja vu, JR? Dreamer looks hurt. I hope he's okay, King. But those were two slobber knocker matches in a row. Tommy Dreamer is up on his own, but he certainly doesn't look happy. Those two have great respect for one another, and the fans have great respect for them.